three-minute ride on this roller coaster is one of the top attractions at this year's Munich Oktoberfest. It was really scary. I broke out in a sweat. It wrecked my hair, but otherwise it was great. It was really great, especially because of the speed and the excitement. And this is the man who gets them all screaming. During his career, Werner Stengel has built more than 500 roller coasters around the globe. Riding a roller coaster is stimulating and a dare. People experience things on a roller coaster that don't happen daily, and that's what makes them so exciting. Unlike everyday life, a roller coaster is not boring. And there's one thing everyone knows. They'll come back to where they started safe and sound, but after getting a major rush. Stengel designed all eight roller coasters at the Oktoberfest, as well as other fair rides. Early on in his career, he built Germany's first steel frame roller coaster. Then I went to NASA and got documents about the forces astronauts are subjected to and pilots as well. Then I set the forces acting on the roller coaster riders a bit lower. After all, people aged from 10 to 80 use them, the general population. Slowly I arrived at my own standards. You could say, I'm self-taught. The first roller coasters were 16th century Russian snow slides. The railway for coal cars at a mine in the US was another early ride. When the first commercial coasters were built, passengers often suffered broken collarbones or whiplash. Back in Munich, the Olympia looping is given a once-over before the first Oktoberfest guests arrive. Werner Stengel has revolutionized safety standards for roller coasters the world over. We've improved the rails and made the ride smoother, and then these shoulder brackets were developed. They hold the passengers firmly in their seat. Before, we used to build loops in circles, but the average person can't handle that and they can be hurt. So we learned to build loops in spirals and found they were much more effective. Werner Stengel also built the Revolution roller coaster in the US. Regardless of where they are in the world, there's a high probability that roller coaster passengers are racing along on a Stengel design. Stengel's engineering office near Munich is currently working on rides primarily destined for Asia. Five years ago, Werner Stengel turned over the business to two directors, but he still plays an active role in things. The ride has to be so interesting that people want to get on again and again, right away. And next year, that's the first place they go. There are fairs where people get off and say, oh, that's old hat, you don't even need to ride it. Our job is to ensure the coasters are popular. The screams at the Oktoberfest in Munich show just how popular his designs are. But Stengel is already thinking about ways he can pump up the volume even more. I dream about developing an interactive roller coaster. It won't be so fast, but the riders could have a laser rifle and shoot at targets or shoot at the other cars as they go around. Then they get points for hits. People want to be actively engaged and having fun. Who knows, maybe then the screams of the passengers will be even louder.